I'm yeah. kind of not the nicest person inherent. There is, in, I think I was like, you know, there's a little bit of the uh, darkness. Yeah. Well, I mean, when I said hello to you for the first time, you kicked me in the pussy. So yeah. that was a little. Yeah. That was I tough. I didn't see that happen. By, once. I grabbed well, you by you the pussy. Yeah. Yeah. I grabbed grab everyone by the pussy everyone. and then kick it. Yeah. And, <laughs> I kick, and then I kick you. I'm like yummy, and then I'm like ah, ew, <laughs> you bitch. <laughs> River Ramirez, everybody, and Patty Harrison. Oh, yeah. Oh. Yay. Thank you for coming to do our second um, in-studio pod. We normally film at my house in my living room, so you guys got a much better experience than everyone else. Yeah, Yay. and that is a laugh-o-meter. Oh, nice. And um, it just yeah adds up the laughs. So keep buying, folks. Look like we still have about 1,200 units left. Those are going like hotcakes. Could you ever, when I was a kid, I always wanted to be on like home shopping. Oh, yeah, me too. I always thought it was so glam. What would you sell? What would I sell? Yeah, who would you sell? It seemed like you were ready to... Well, I, I don't want to listen. Wait, okay. Yeah. No. I would sell... Well, I like it when they put on those shitty clothes and <laughs> it looks good on everyone because it's big. And, like, all the women are, like... It's always, like, a duster. <laughs> or, yeah. like, a duster and that you're wearing as clothing. <laughs> it's a duster, like... <laughs> like someone stuck duster. all the way through your throat and you're, like... <laughs> It's coming out of your ass. <laughs> and look at how the duster just comes out of her ass. <laughs> and the clothing colors too. It's like <laughs> aubergine. It's like wine. Yeah, it's like it's yeah. like colors that work on everyone and no one. Yeah, my mom was really obsessed with um Way East cosmetics. And it was like this like Is that a pyramid scheme? No. no. Way, way East Way East. Like Way East. Like W E I. Way that's her name is Way East. But I oh. guess it's like Way Way East. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. Like how far east? Oh Wait. no! What did I say? <laughs> don't cancel me. I don't know when what I was saying. When you say something cancelable in the studio, we just pull and you just, the chair goes straight back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah, then yeah. you go through and one And then you, like, eat, you have to eat your own ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the, the chair makes you eat your own ass. On camera. Yeah, on, oh, 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 oh. Crying. Oh, oh, oh. That's that's absolutely disgusting that that happens on your show. The fact that you said that eating ass is disgusting is cancelable, so... Whoosh. Oh! <laughs> I'm re immediately re like tantric orgasm yeah. from eating my own ass. At first, you're like, I would never, and then instant, like... Oh! Yeah, yeah would, you didn't oh know. Oh my god, I would never. Cut to... Oh! I've, been, I've been building a tantric orgasm for like three weeks, <laughs> and then it come, all it took was my little tongue to like just get the, the suggestion hit. just breathed yeah. on it the suggestion tongue to ass <laughs> <laughs> I'm very good, like, uh, not scooby doo text avery Scooby Doo, ass eating you tantric orgasm. Scooby Doo when he eats his own ass. Yeah. Do you remember that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I do. I was a big fan of Scooby Doo. Is Scooby Doo the one that. that does the solves the crimes? Uh huh. With the people. The dog. The talking dog. The, the talking dog. dog. Yeah. Fred, Wilma. Yeah, yeah and then it's like Shaggy. Oh, like dog, yeah. The stoner. The dog, yeah, the dog who hooks up with the stoner. Shaggy and um, Scooby, Scooby are Doo fucking. Scooby are fucking. And that's like and absolutely. Scrappy. That's like known. Scrappy? Scrappy is oh. Scooby's little cousin. Yeah. Who is oh. a puppy, but also seems to, yeah. mm -hmm. yeah. seems to be having sex. Seems to be having sex despite it all. And then Velma. Seems to be having sex. Velma's Les, right? Velma. Velma's Les Vel icon. No, Velma's a virgin. She, no, she, she doesn't know what's going on yet. And yeah, she, can't she loves get it. She I bet she's wet her dress. Yeah. I bet <laughs> she's. <laughs> you <laughs> bitch. We're just calling you ugly everyone. bitch. You ugly bitch, Velma. Oh, you horny <laughs> bitch, Scooby. Oh. <laughs> I can't see without my glasses. Don't put them on because you look in the mirror. Shut you up, see that you ugly bitch. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> oh, these glasses? <laughs> yeah. Velma speaks out after this, like writes an expose. Mm. Velma's Patty probably and, Les on Patty Twitter. Patty and River have yeah. been really bad to me. Mm -hmm. um, everyone on set always fingers me for no reason, <laughs> but I'm all closed up. So nothing goes in. <laughs> because I'm a cartoon. <laughs> Do you they, hear this? They haven't drawn it yet for years. I have been begging the EPs in the writer's room to please, draw me one. Please to write it into pussy. the show. Draw me a pussy so that I can experience penetration for please. the first and last time. Petition.org. Yes. Please sign timeline. this petition so that Velma can get a pussy drawn for her. <laughs> can we do that? Can we like actually have a petition? Yeah. They'll, they'll bring it up on the board oh, great. Soon. Let's do yeah. that. Well, and then yeah. uh, is it Daphne and Fred? They're fucking, right? Yes. The yeah, yeah. They're like, yeah, yeah. They're like they've the been fucking on 
and a half. Like, I thought they were brother and sister. No. No, they're fucking. No, they're fucking. No. They're fucking. They're Wait, fucking. what other have occurred to Cowardly Dog? Work. Mm -hmm. Where in there? Who's fucking? Who's not fucking? Muriel, Mur Muriel, and you sis are fucking. Yeah, yeah. Muriel, and you sis are fucking. Are fucking. But Obviously. what's not addressed is that they have no children and they're like pretty old. Yeah. And that's what's going on there. What do you mean? What's going on there? They're a heterosexual married couple. They're like in their like late sixties, maybe early seventies. Mm -hmm. From what I can gauge about they the way they're drawn, they like, they no unless children. we don't know mm. that it's like a trans couple or something. Mm. That doesn't mean they can't have kids. Mm. Wow. Um, why are you wow. saying that? Oh, you mean biologically? You saying, I'm saying biologically. Saying if Muriel is a trans woman, I didn't and, say that. And Eustace is a trans man. I didn't say that. Or well, then what are they? Well, I was gonna say that Muriel could be a trans woman, and then Houston could be cis. Could be cis. Used cis. So they they could Eust just be being old together, and never got around. Maybe they met later in life too, and then they were like, "Well, I didn't freeze my egg. No, they don't have eggs." Well, maybe all their they have a farm. They have eggs. They have eggs. Maybe their parts were all ripped out by the mafia. Yeah, that could be. And I was also it was a long time ago. Like that takes place in like courage takes place in like it's, the sixties yeah, in the middle of nowhere. It doesn't Isn't take it place old, in the sixties. Or in the eighties, the middle of nowhere. I don't think it takes place in the eighties. They had access to healthcare. Have you ever seen Courage the Carly? I have no, no, it's, never. It's once. really fierce. That is, is it, a good program. Is it? Is the, it real animals? It's a cartoon. It's a cartoon oh. animal. It's a cartoon. It's about a dog who's really afraid of stuff and a bunch of paranormal stuff happens. And then he lives with an old, older woman named Muriel and then an older who's guy really who's really nice. grumpy. Yeah, the woman's really nice and the man's really mean. Yeah. yeah. The man's like, stupid So that's why dog. I'm like, he's cis. Oh. He's, he's cis. cis. He's Unless aggro. Unless that he's like, like trans mask and just kind of like, you know, took in the toxic traits of masculinity as like yeah. a costume he might be like yeah. on his tea climb yeah he's uh, he's experiencing he this, the surge yeah they could, tea. They could be climb. shooting yeah. every he's day like, he's like just shot tea and it's that right it's that rush right. of like that makes sense the rage I Do a dog, but, yes. really, <laughs> but he really means like my dad you know like yeah. a, a subtext yeah mm -hmm. yeah and muriel's so gentle i'm like it feels like you're like very enlightened like you don't seem like just a cis woman i don't think it's enlightenment though because i also i feel like it's like trauma mm -hmm. i feel like she's been bludgeoned by trauma right, and she's completely right, right, right she's right, completely right. conflict averse right, docile okay, compartmentalizing okay. yes that's the way she, she dresses her body's covered head to toe head to toe but she also has control over like everything like people love her when she comes into a room she can take control everyone's trying to protect her why are why is everyone trying to protect muriel and why is the dog named courage i bet she's trying to like remind herself like i gotta get out of this relationship yeah yeah this oh. is Jennifer yeah. Lopez yeah. And enough yeah that's what this is <laughs> yeah. Well, the way they animate the house too, there's there's nothing for miles either. No. Yeah, there's direction. nothing. She has no she out. She has like, no support system. Yeah, it, that's really it's scary. Sounds like a depressing cartoon. Like a, a, abusive, maybe. I also would say that I think Eustace queer baits a little bit because he has like all that filler in his shit. <laughs> <laughs> so it's like, it's like he's getting work baits. done. He queer. He's queer Eustace baiting. is queer. Yeah, baiting. He's queer baiting. He's like getting yeah, he's getting work done to like. Like the way his face. Every episode, don't you do can that. tell get, the cartoons are getting filler. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> can you imagine? They're real. They're thread. There's like thread bruising <laughs> on the temple. Oh, he's got the um, the Demi Moore runway face, like the. Yeah. <laughs> oh god, she listens to the pod. We're getting oh, a letter. Yeah, she's gonna. Demi's gonna write us a letter. She's gonna write us a fucking letter. She listens to the pod. Yeah, she's a producer. Demi actually. Moore. Mm -hmm. Hello. Do you remember? Do you Hello, remember? Demi. In the the um the Charlie's Angels Full Throttle movie where she does all those flips off of the building and she lands, she has the two guns. I think Demi Moore is so, Demi, if you're listening, I just think you're so hot. She is. <laughs> That's it. I remember in that movie, that iconic scene of like, she's talking to the, the Charlie box and the Charlie's like, you were a good angel. And she's like all tear eyed and she goes, no, I was great. And then she shoots it. Whoa. And also the first time they see her, she's on the beach walking with a surfboard. Yeah, and she gets in the Ferrari Enzo. And, and she's she, like... So hot. I don't remember that, but I remember her in Ghost. She's How about G.I. Jane? Don't Two. remember her there. Oh, no. shaved head. Shaved yeah, head. Yeah, shaved head. Oscar shaved bait. Shaved head was good. Oscar bait. Shaved yeah. head. Snubbed. You know what... what um, 
I'm like, I don't know if this is like really shitty to bring up. Do but, it. So, but I used to, so I used You're to think. You're getting this right. Okay, yeah. Good. Okay. So this is, I'm just going to preface this by saying this is really shitty. <laughs> so you can't cancel me for whatever yeah. I say. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna say it while I'm coming. <laughs> like a bit, and I'm crying like a baby when I come. <laughs> that sucks. Okay. So the shitty thing that I want to say is that I remember, I remember being young and like wanting to be like an actor and mm-hmm. stuff. And me and my brother would watch a lot of movies, and it seemed like to get an Oscar or to get recognized, you had to be like like Gilbert Grape, mm-hmm. like I Am Sam. You had to play someone with like a developmental disability. Yeah. yeah. And I used to actually practice that. Well, I don't think that's on you. I think that that is. Do you have a monologue prepared that you could maybe, we could do something? Yeah, yeah. imagine. <laughs> no, no. Damn. I have. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I do. I'll do it, I'll do it when <laughs> cameras are off. Improvise one. Your your suggestion is is tea. <laughs> tea kettle. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. 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 Okay. No, no. I'm not doing anything. No, no. <laughs> Why don't you do that in your own podcast? <laughs> I'm not doing anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I remember watching movie. <laughs> <laughs> the face. The face. <laughs> this is my. This That's, is for to get an Oscar. Yeah. <laughs> oh <laughs> my God. Yeah, panning. Mama? <laughs> that's it. That's it. Well, the mom's dead. Yeah. That's Mama? An Oscar movie. Yeah, and then that's it. This is the end She's of the scene. She's on yeah. fire in the car. <laughs> There's I'm, a car on yeah, fire. I lit, I lit my mom on fire, yeah. and then I'm like, Mama? <laughs> and then it's like close. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The a, Oscar a goes by, to. A film by Tom Ford. <laughs> the yeah, Oscar goes yeah. to the woman in the car. <laughs> <laughs> Burning to death it was a real woman, by the way, that we really burned. Yeah. And, <laughs> and she's, she's alive and she comes on. The, she's she's like, still smoking. She's still screaming. She's like, ah! She like runs up to, to get the trophy. Ah! This is like <laughs> smoking. It off his body. It doesn't even make it to the end. She dies on stage after she gets it. Ah! And the music to play her off is Alicia Keys, That Girl's on Fire. (laughs) (laughs) Alicia Keys is there, live. Or maybe she does stop and goes, this award goes to all the cars who've been on fire who needed their story told. Toyota, Prius, all of you girls. I love you so much. Oh, my God. And born this way. (laughs) And And then Lady Gaga's like, that's mine! I'm just so happy award shows are going to be back now that COVID's over. Yeah. I and never have seen any of the movies. And everybody wants to have the parties, and I'm always like, what's, who's winning? Like, I, I never watch any of it. You follow all that shit? No. No? No. Not into Oscar, Emmy? No. No, I, no I, I always miss it. I always feel like it. I learn, like, the day of that it's happening. And then I'm like, mm-hmm. oh, it's today. And then I don't have it. I don't have, like, cable TV. And I haven't really like looked into streaming as much. I recently got like accounts for streaming services so that rich. I can watch TV. What you got? Very rich. Very Paramount rich. Plus. Um, I got I got um ESPN oil 3. oil reserve TV. <laughs> and it, just, it, it just streams drilling. of all the drilling, drilling sites. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah. There's the like, fracking sites. Exxon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Exxon um, Plus. I did watch this. I watched this documentary that I can't even remember that who it was about, but it was about a marine biologist and a f- the first, like the p- a pioneering female marine biologist. Was it my octopus teacher? No, I was just gonna say the guy that fucked <laughs> no. the octopus. No, no, but I did, I loved that. Movie. Do you think he fucked it? Oh yeah, of course he, he did. Fucked it. Oh it's yeah, like, it's, and it's, it destroyed un- his family. Ab- it's like it wouldn't un- be on you. Like he that, fucks you know? an octopus, Mama. He fucked that. <laughs> Octopus. And his wife Several and his times. son. His wife and his son don't do interviews, right? His no. wife's nowhere to be seen. No. Nowhere to be, and, and, I didn't even know he. I thought he was single. Why is no. he fucking? No, 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 at the end, the whole family. At the end, end he, yes. he's like. But he was the there end. every day. He strained his relationship with his family. Basically, um, his ignored everybody. It was like an absent dad in the water at six in the morning in a wetsuit, <laughs> fucking that octopus. <laughs> he's really fucking an octopus. Well, yes, absolutely. Well, knowing I, men. 
Listen, the way Anything he talked with about this. A hole. Yeah. No, 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 not the hole. It just. He jerked himself off with when he it. said you fucking octopus. So? Yeah. My first thought was just Does like, a, just like a, a man. No, don't take like it. Don't don't take its agency. I'm not taking Who? anybody's agency. You took. Yeah, you did. Whose? You took the octopus's agency. The you octopus said that he is... jerked off with it, like it's but not it, voluntarily wait. sucking him. <laughs> No, I mean, I have heard that sea animals are like really into fucking humans and like seducing them. Well, it, especially like dolphins. It's dolphins. Yeah. It's not all sea animals. Yeah, no. goldfish. Goldfish. But how can we never see like plankton? Plankton. 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 Is it's it? like bacteria, not bacteria. I thought like the sea sponge is victimless crime. Victimless crime. Yeah, sea no, sponge. they're like horny. Have you ever been to the ocean? Well, she asked. I was swimming. <laughs> I was I was diving, and you can't really hear much down there. But I heard like a really high like, fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> I, I looked over and sonically, it, yeah. it's picked up. Like scientists are like, can we? Can we yeah. clear that up? They were in the sub and they were like, well, everyone got that thing yeah. in movies where they get their headphones. Put yeah, on. they're like, yeah. and I right, looked over just clear and I saw a clamshell. I was like. <laughs> it was like whining like that. Oh my god! It was like the explosive. Yearning. It was like, fuck. Me. Yeah, it's the so long. Wow. <laughs> and it was like, all right. So I mean, I was already naked. I was, you know, you, you scuba dive naked. Right, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. And I just. Well, it's your oxygen tube is you're like <laughs> it's right it's in your foreskin you like keep a well, bubble I didn't have quite a, a scuba snorkel. I had the Dyson I had the, oh, the yeah. so I, it looked like a scuba you know I had that hooked up to my mouth oh, no, <laughs> yeah. I, I, the vacuum will get to your mouth but it's dirty so it's just blowing in the dirt it's actually killing me yeah you're yeah. like what in the ocean naked <laughs> it's just kidding <laughs> alright let's take a break let's take a break <laughs> If you're carrying a credit card balance month after month, it can feel like you're in a never-ending cycle of debt. Upstart can help make that final payment so you can get ahead. Upstart is the fast and easy way to pay off your debt with a personal loan online. Whether it's paying off credit cards, consolidating high-interest debt, or funding personal expenses, over half a million people have used Upstart to get one fixed monthly payment. Unlike other lenders, Upstart considers your income and current employment to find you a smarter rate for your loan. You can receive funds as fast as one business day after accepting your loan. And with a five minute online rate check, you can see your rate upfront for loans between $1,000 to $50,000. Find out how Upstart can lower your monthly payments today when you go to upstart.com slash bald. That's upstart.com slash bald. Don't forget to use our URL to let them know we sent you. Loan amounts will be determined based on your credit, income, and certain other information provided in your loan application. Go to upstart.com slash bald. There's so much I miss about dating in the before times, but it isn't even just the normal dates themselves. It's the unexpected thrill of meeting someone new when you weren't even looking, the awkwardness of a blind date, picking up the check when they forgot their wallet, that first kiss, vaccination. It's the most effective way to help prevent COVID-19 and get back in the game. Find your COVID-19 vaccine location near you at vaccines.gov. That's V-A-C-C-I-N-E-S. Dot gov. No and we're back. Talk. No more sex talk. I hate that. That's a lot of sex talk. Listen, That's a lot of sex we're talk. back with the stars of a woman's smile. But you guys don't do that podcast anymore. We haven't done it in two, years. Well, guess two or three what? years. Like the fans days. need it. Yeah, I think you need to do it. To again. live. We've yeah. been like... We want to. We've been wanting to, and then we've like kind of worked on mapping it out or where it would go. I think we need help. Yeah. Yeah, because we love working together, but I also feel like we're both kind of like scatterbrained. We're both scatterbrained. We w- when we were making A Woman Smile, we lived like 10 minutes away from each other mm-hmm. in Brooklyn, like a train, a short train ride away. And, we and even like, that was a commute. Yeah, and I think like now that I live in the West Coast and they're East Coast, it's like it's trying to find the time has been like weird and then we like left our production company and then it was just kind of like it's been we want to yeah it's we want still to. it's still there it's still there i we really just want need you someone to do it. who can organize <coughs> it all like a producer basically how did that did, so how did that happen like how did it work it was just for fun i mean yeah. that's the, that's the thing that is also hard to 
It's like when people like it, people are like, we need it, whatever. Mm. I don't, we haven't made any money from it. And it's so funny. To well, that's what I was going to ask you about. Because all those fake ads are so funny fucking funny <laughs> but they don't produce any revenue no no, no. we got <laughs> i you can't just say an ad and the money shows up there has to be real comfortable yeah, we, yeah. Did, well, we did we got we I did got, have ads later later yeah. but we got i think what we got no cash got from food a swan. offer to no i got a free box of food from like hello hello oh, fresh. fresh and but they i had it sent to someone else because i wasn't in new york then and then i think i got sent a very small paycheck mm -hmm. at one time but it is like, I think, the, I think the ads were the, the, it's weird because I've gone back and like listened to like s old, like the, some of the episodes and uh, the, there's laugh. now there's real ads interspersed <laughs> with our fake oh, ads. They put in the, uh, Spotify. Wait, wait, for real? Yeah. Wait, the, if you listen to it on that, Spotify. Oh, I never listened to that on Spotify. Yeah. I don't. I'm I like. Don't know. I they feel like we kind of like just. Well, doesn't Spotify have ads unless you have an account? So like. Uh, no, I have premium. I have uh, the Spotify. Weird. Whatever. I pay for it. So yeah. then that but means no behavior. TV. Huh? No TV though. I I have a TV, but it's filled with oil. Okay. Like um, like natural resources. Okay. Like the natural resource of oil. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> If, I don't know if you saw the footage, but the last of us, well, I was out there with those birds. <laughs> I was like getting it. Whatever. To bring back. Putting hyalur hyaluronic acid around <laughs> my skin and then taking the oil and like rubbing it in. And they're like, remember, oil doesn't moisturize, but it can help lock in the moisture. So right. you have to get wet first. One of those ducks, like there'll be those duck commercials with the dawn and there'll be you watching a TV, like trying to rescue it from the oil in the ocean. <laughs> TV, dying ducks around the TV. And you're watching the TV, like, <laughs> yeah. and coming. And coming. Yeah. coming. And the ducks yeah. are like, now why would I do something <laughs> like that? <laughs> From watching a TV in the water, what is wrong with you? Because you're nasty. Everybody knows you're nasty, girl. <laughs> no, I never sucked no Every one. I never fucked no Everybody one. Everybody knows that you've been sucking off all the shit every time you go out. Like Sucking off all the shit? I see you. you I just suck, I I suck anything you. I find yes, until I see it. I see I'm, I'm out. I, I invited you over the other day and then I see you on a stoplight sucking on a spot stoplight. <laughs> yeah, because I thought it was somebody. <laughs> yeah. I thought it was somebody. Well, it ain't somebody, oh, bitch. Hey, bitch. That's just a stoplight. <laughs> I saw you sucking oh a stoplight. Oh my god! I saw you <gasps> sucking on a baby's head, bitch. <laughs> girl, girl, I saw it becomes sexy. Girl, I saw you. Oh, then you liked it. A, <laughs> sucking on a stoplight. I started rapping. <laughs> sucking on a stoplight. It ain't right, but still, I think that you are tight. Hey, girl, I wanna get with you. I need you to suck me too. <laughs> Whoa. Wow. I hope I made my soulmate through this. Incredible. It could happen. Incredible. Incredible. <laughs> so, who's single? <laughs> who's dating who? I'm so single. Are you? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Good. Are you looking for love? You found it. Yeah. Shh. <sighs> Uh, uh, fuck. Mm. <laughs> oh. the, the front tooth comes out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my, my whole front face comes out. <laughs> <laughs> the little alien from Men in Black. By the way, if oh they made God. that a Starburst commercial, I think they'd actually sell more of them. Yeah. Like those Herbal Essences commercials? If, what, would you, what would your dream commercial be? Any product. Anything. Any product. Any product that yeah, exists. Yeah, something you actually like. Or, or anything. I, oh, really. and I had to like be you were the, the star You were the, the progressive like yeah. flow of yeah. that product. Mm. The face of the campaign. Or you, what do you think? Mm. I have to, Patty first. Yeah. I think it would be like. More oil. Swiffer wet. I think it would be for medicine. Oh, what kind? Any medicine. <laughs> I think medicine, as far as a medicine. convention, <laughs> medicine goes. Just period. No, no, no. Hear me out. You're laughing. Stop. Okay, I'm not gonna. I'm, not, I'm close, I'm close to be done. I'm close to not talking anymore because I don't feel like you're taking me seriously. I think medicine has helped a lot of people. 
and I'm appreciative of that. And I think God, I think God has a lot to do with that. But I'm not going to go there right now because I don't feel that vibe from you. But um, I feel like you'd laugh more. Um, but yeah, maybe a medicine. Maybe like I think Zyrtec has helped me a lot. I think um, I'm supporting you, Patty. Come <laughs> over here. Well, Catherine Heigl did the the Nyquil commercial, I think. And in it, she goes like this. She's like. And she's like mm-hmm. trying to sleep. She can't sleep. And she's like. <laughs> Instant. She passes Instant. out. Instant. She's driving like a so blow dart to the neck. She's gassing it. She's driving <laughs> towards the school. I mean, it's a, like, yeah, it's a commercial of her crying. Yeah, no. Of her crying, driving, taking Nyquil like well, by right the gallon. Before the car hits the building, she. <laughs> she goes to sleep. She goes uh, limp. Uh, and when you go that limp, your body can actually absorb more shock. So she flies through the windshield that, that kills a lot of the people in the school. We're not saying kind of what kind of school because you don't know how old anyone in right, the right, school is. Right, right, but right, there right. are a lot of uh, casualties. But she lives because her body was limp. It's like, you right. know, when people get sucked up in tornadoes and they pass out. Don't and fight it. Yeah, yeah, and don't then they live. Don't fight go, with the yeah. go with the flow. Go with the flow. So go limp. Go limp. They say go that. Limp, if go you, with the flow. If someone tries to pick you up. Play dead. Whoa. Oh. I didn't know we're eating. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. What about that? Should be for the cam under the counter. Oh, that's wait, good. wait, wait. Do we, <gasps> do we talk about this? Is it, it, could it be possible to do a YouTube channel where you are, you are definitely masturbating, <laughs> but not like, yeah. not like, uh, right. But you're, you're doing a review of makeup or whatever. You have a, you know, you have like a shtick, but people are really tuning in because. Mm-hmm. You right. are fucking maybe, jerking it. But maybe not jerking it because you know what? I, I, I'm going to be very vulnerable here, but I don't, know, I don't know if you all do this, but when I'm alone in my room doing anything, uh-huh. I have my hand on my Crot. ear uh-huh. and I'm, do, I'm like this. And I'm, and I'm also like typing things. But okay. there's no, um, I'm not masturbating. Yeah, sure. My He's hand checking. is just well, I've been stimulating. stimulating. It's yeah, just, I'm just it's like, just pulling or it, or pulling weed. No, it's just like oh, having, yeah. It's just resting. Just like getting resting, yeah. Well, I feel like if someone did something that was like, I feel like that's subtle enough that like your videos wouldn't get flagged. But if you wanted to make a video where you were doing like a makeup tutorial or you were doing like a like a haul video and you're like pulling stuff out of the bag and your other hand was just kind of doing this. <laughs> and I don't know, it depends on how high the table is, but I don't know if that's readable. But what I'm no, doing is I'm doing No, you'd have a camera this. under the table. Yeah. Well, yeah, and, they, they, and then there'd be certain- I think that'd be cool. <clears throat> there'd be certain like buzzwords for fall, like people who are really like subscribed, it. you know, like- um, where, uh, Today, today I got I got a Nivea uh, core, pore corrector. Um, so this will shrink your- <laughs> yes. Right. Yeah. And then the, you, at the end, you pull out the right hand, and it's just dripping wet. And it's like there's shit. <laughs> there's shit in and it. What? And shit and blood. There's shit and, and blood. And then like a ton of oil. Or it's like tarred like, and feathered. Oils, tarred like, and feathered. Like the natural oil. Like, oh my god. Nat- What's with you? And are you into fracking now? And so what if it? That's true. <laughs> and so what if that is true? That's I'm bad. Her maiden name Exxon. Yeah. She doesn't Exxon want to talk about Fracker. it. Of last name, first name Exxon, last name, wait, what is that? Last name ever, first name greatest. I was going to say last name. <laughs> first name Exxon, last name mobile. Well, there's a, there's oh, a channel. <laughs> there's oh, baby. <laughs> oh, baby, Hollywood's been bad to you. Come back to New York. Oh, my God. We need ya. You should see my lower, the lower part of my chassis. It's all wrecked up. What? <laughs> Collapsed. What? Wood chips. Mm? Wood chips. Hollywood's Hollywood's made me do awful things. I uh, know, girl. <laughs> I don't know who. No, I you're am. like push, forcing yourself on the cast director. Like you got the role already. You're like, yeah, yeah. we have to do this. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, like, please, suck we up. have to. Uh, <laughs> and I'm like taking their clipboard, and I'm like, uh, <laughs> uh, they're like, you weren't even called in for this. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, oh. yeah, it was like a production I drove by. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like, do you need me? And I'm like, we're not Sheldon. casting for anything. <laughs> we're looking for a sound person. You're like, oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Like pressing my is pressing my tits on the ground. You bring, yeah. you like putting your putting your fingers through your eyes, <laughs> and like your your eyeballs are going all the way. <laughs> like they're seeing. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but then Beetlejuice she pulls the hands out and the yeah. fingers are on the, the, veil. the eyes are on the fingers <laughs> and she says. Oh. And then you do a little Charlie Chaplin her. tap dance. A little bit. Or you bring doing your, that sound. <laughs> <laughs> you bring your own clear pane of glass and then top off and you press up against that. You're holding the glass too. 
Because they don't have windows. You yeah. open all your holes so they're like flat like this. <laughs> like somehow your pelvis, it's like flat and then you <laughs> on a screen. So it's like when, and I don't want to, I don't want to be a, a broken record, but it's like when an octopus latches on to right. a, gla a glass yes. and you can see the, the like mouth sphincter attach and then you see the yes. little beak come out. That's it. Because they have agency. Yeah. yeah. You know what I remember when we were talking about the octopus thing? I'm like, I know for a fact guys who live on farms fuck pigs and like guys fuck the farm animals. Yeah. Well, well they also get what were the fucked. farm animals wearing? Were they drinking? <laughs> they were naked. <laughs> yeah. And they were probably wearing yeah. mini skirts and, and they were drinking, drinking and yeah. wearing these, you know, come I know. fuck me yeah. outfits made of mud. I don't come know. fuck me hooves. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nails. Imagine you oh go to a God. imagine that you go works. to a farm and you're like, yeah, right. Like you are like a slut. <laughs> yeah. Imagine you're like, oh, what, what, what horrible assholes would like fuck a pig, you're like fuck a cow. You go to a farm, you're like, oh my God. <laughs> oh. They're standing up straight. Oh like, my God. They're like, hey, girls. Hey, girls. <laughs> <laughs> Why don't you come up and see me sometime? <laughs> and one like pig so comes hot. over. There's a pig that comes over and has like really long, beautiful center parted hair, and she's like, <laughs> I've heard what you said that like why would anybody fuck a pig yeah. and I just want to like because it's like a Gen Z pig so it's like oh. gorgeous but it's like reading oh, all I'm the time right and it's Twitter. like why can't I gorgeous, be both why can't I be both why can't I be both <laughs> they're all wearing so you think cows say, don't read be because oh, we're fucking cows she's like did you ever think that the cow was fucking the farmhand and not yeah. the other way around yeah. and then like all the cows come they're like yeah yeah why can't I get some? What? Because yeah. I'm older. Older cows. Just what? We get put out to they pasture. They have like stunning <laughs> hair. Like they just like hair like this. Well, that's a cow. Yeah, that's a cow. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They look like that. Can I ask? Can I ask something? Yeah. What? What were you saying into the cup? Um. Well, it's kind of it's kind of the thing doesn't work because if the string is not taut, then it doesn't. So were you unable to hear? She was actually whispering, if you can believe it. Yeah. I was That's waiting, the for, the, she I was waiting for the oil to spill out of my throat into the cup so that <laughs> oh. I could just give it to her. For oil? Her. Why for you, your you car? Television. And you know, like, booty bumps, I was kind of trying in the ear. Like, I had a shot of Sky Vodka, and I was like, let's get my... What's it? Wait, a booty bump? Well, you, like, booty soak bump. the tampon in, in the no, alcohol. No, put oh. Up. You put in that, your ear that's the butt chug, like a boot chug, chug. Yeah. a boot chug, thing. a butt chug, a boot chug. chug. I'm Scottish. It's a boot <laughs> chug. It's a boot <laughs> chug. <laughs> I'm gonna turn into my wife Fiona. Yeah. Don't be Scottish. Thanks for being here at the world and the beautiful. <laughs> Come on down for a butt chug. <laughs> Wow. I get killed Dialect by an coaches. Irish person outside. Just completely like, They're like that's not you. what we sound like. like uh, oh no! <laughs> but then you like it. Yeah, but, oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that photo was taken a long time ago and yeah. not for this podcast. But no. you know what? We're getting some miles out of it. I will it say up close, uh, this texture's a little, the texture's happening. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I had to recently to do like a, a very like high def up close just a thing of like lip sync of my face. I freshly shaved and put the makeup on. It was hammer time. Yeah. Hammer time. It looked like uh, cobblestone, like mm -hmm. cobblestone in New England. Uh -huh. Tile. Beautiful. <laughs> no. 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 Or like school. pebble, you know those pebble um, I mean, walkways? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. But on I the get, face. I on the that. face. Yeah. I get that. It's normal. <laughs> yeah. I look like okay. the wood I mean chips. It. The wood I get chips. That. I mean, with heavy on. makeup. No. Like I don't, I try not to, but heavy makeup always does that. Yeah, I think it just depends because it's like, it's like the, I feel like there's this weird. I don't know what the shave dynamic is, but it's like sometimes when the hair is like growing after you shave it and it creates the raised. It's like before it breaks through, I guess the, uh, the skin yes. it like creates uh, it a like bump. bumps. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah and yeah, when yeah, you're yeah, shaving, yeah. your hair is like. Okay, you won the battle, but not the war. I'll see you in four hours, babe. Yeah. Four <laughs> fucking you know, hours. hours. I'm still growing. Four fucking I'll hours. I'll see you later. Four fucking hours. It's horrible. And I have a lumberjack beard. Like, it gets to be, it's so. What yeah. is the longest you've ever grown it? To a, like, Unabomber? No, not a Unabomber. Like, um, probably two. It was, like, big. Like, too big. Oh, wow. Gross. It wasn't that bad. It was right when you, it was after you came back from the woods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I looked you like. You were in the woods? I was in the woods. Oh. Yeah, you know. And I, but it was like. But it was so gross. It, like underneath is its own ecosystem. Like the you know, like the um, 
you know how they say like the forest floor is like dense with all kinds of species oh, right. and it's stuff? Like yeah. different levels. Yeah, so like, like nutrients and stuff. Canopy. This was like the forest floor underneath was all this hidden dead skin Whoa. chunks of like oh. so disgusting. You think it's hidden? No, it was hidden. Well, it's like how do you get how do you get like <laughs> soap and like moisturizer if it's like thick? Well, you, you have to it it's like you another You can really go in there. No, there's like all these products that are like made for the head on your face or the yeah. the hair on your face. I don't like that. Well, the skin <laughs> on your face. And we just sit in that for a while. You just say, yeah. "I don't like that." Yeah. Well, men's scalps are like twice as thick as women's scalps, and the skin on your face is like half as thick of skin as the rest of your body. That's why your body skin looks like clean, and your face skin will have like veins and stuff. So you have to use different products because I mean, your scalp can handle like soap. Your face. Oh, is the first time I'm hearing that, I'm crying. Oh no! Yeah, it was meltdown chunks. <laughs> I'm telling you, chunks. Well, hey, that's chunks. what's great about in it. In it smells. No. no, what were you didn't. doing? Why? I just didn't do anything. To, nothing. I just, well, there was food in there, but you get that out. And like, but like, so if you wanted to, so the point is like, when I went to shave my face for the first time smooth, it was several steps because first it was hacking the brush and then it was contending with all of this like zombified, putrid. It looked good though. <laughs> it looked yeah. good. I mean, like a certain, at a certain length, the beard looks it looks like I'm gonna look up a picture. It's gonna look very moisturized and like amazing. Oh no 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 no! no Plus, no. you know, gay men, you can be like fucking gross, and if you get a beard, people are like, "Hey, yeah, hey, what's <laughs> up? You wanna fuck? Yeah, you could be you could be missing this part of your face, and if yeah. there's some hair, yeah. Why is that? Mustaches. I don't know why. For if what do you mean, like people having them? Yeah. In general, I think people can like. Am I attracted to that? Yeah. Or if I think facial hair is attractive, but I think mustaches in particular, no. Uh, or against. It, it really against. depends. I think it depends. There, there are people that it's like if they get too like, like steampunky with it. Oh no! No 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 yeah, it's a waxed grow. No. It's a, the Paul well, F. Tompkins is allowed, but that's where we draw the line, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But anyone else, it's attached to like a Ren Fair person. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it's a costume piece. Yeah. It's a but but do they, if you say there's a man you find attractive. Okay, so what I will say is I don't really, I haven't really ever found Stanley Tucci that attractive until he played. Uh, the pedophile murder in Lovely Bones, and he had like Hot. the insane mustache. Okay, wait, it was a handlebar. Uh, it's like it's like kind of yeah. Okay, Lovely Bones, great drag name. Yeah, the, I got the watch Lovely, that. Bones. Lovely Bones. Wow. Pedophile serial killer. Wait, what was he? He's the killer in the movie, and also a pedophile. But they like kind of gave him like the. I think it's like a. It takes place at a certain time, but they dress him in a way that kind of like all guys with kind of good style dress now. Hmm. It's like very, they like, the wardrobe person like. They made, made him look They like, made him too stylish. Like a they hipster. Turn, they so turned him out. I think he looks, he kind of looks attractive to me in that movie. So you're willing to Not his him. actions, oh. but the way that he carries himself and his swagger and his He's got that pedo swagger. Right. Well, aren't a lot of murderers traditionally like, they have Charming? they have to have some kind of charm to draw people in, right? Because they're like imitating. You can't come at them like <laughs> me. You need to be like, what's his name? Yeah. Ted Bundy is part of why he's so deadly is because he was like charming, right? Right. Oh yeah, and the guy in um he asked you know he needs some help loading that couch into his van. Yes. Yeah. Buffalo. Buffalo, Buffalo Bill. 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 Faked he a was limp. He faked a limp. limp. Yeah, a model. yeah, yeah. He was a model. He was gorgeous. <laughs> he, was he walked gorgeous. for Halston. No mustache. I've though. been listening to Goodbye Horses a lot. There's like a demo version of it. It's an amazing song. It's a great song. You know, I've been it's thinking about uh, murderers. Just because I'm, I'm, I used to be very obsessed with them, and I was thinking about Jeffrey Dahmer and how Jeffrey Dahmer killed like gay men, but he was gay. And then I was thinking of the guys who killed women, and like did stuff with their bodies. And I'm like, it, it was it repression like that caused that, and like will crimes like that happen again now that we're moving towards like people being more openly themselves? Like I'm like. What if, I'm like, what if there was a Ted Bundy now or like a Dahmer now, you know? Well, because it was all from like isolation, repression, like war time, like, I don't know. 
Yeah, Dahmer was at Vietnam. Oh, makes sense. They did horrible things in Vietnam. Yeah, that's so not I, true. Oh, he, he was, wasn't in there. No, I'm sure that is true that they did horrible things. He wasn't at Vietnam. Okay, I'm like I thought. You she says they me. did bad things. This is no, they didn't. But you know, they did everything just you know right. Like, okay, wait. Yeah. Okay. They gave them acrylics. <laughs> they gave them pedicures. There's pictures of people at Vietnam. <laughs> Polaroids in Vietnam. I just want to say that if the Vietnam War ha- and it is a war, it's not a conflict. If the war had not happened, I would not be here. Ooh. Oh, interesting point. I have yeah. a really horrible, actually, anecdote mm. about um, Richard Ramirez, who mm. was the Night Stalker. Hot. Who what everyone thought was so hot. The most horrible crimes, I would say. You All don't right, think he's go hot. Ahead. I know I do not think he's That's hot. That's good. Because he was a fucking dickhead. He was b- dickhead. really bad. That has nothing to but, do with him being hot. But he no. also had love. You know what? I really hate that they all had love after they got imprisoned. Like it's, they had like oh the big women, loves. Oh, the women start writing to them. I, I was yeah, like, he what? got married in prison. I oh think. yeah, the women are like, yeah, I saw I you was on the like, news. No, and no, no, I think no. You're just misunderstood. I'm like, that no, sucks. No, you're a dickhead. Yeah, you're a piece of shit. Makes me so mad. It makes me mad. There's well, all these Netflix stuff. Okay, wait, wait, wait. But, I have a horrible story to make you hate him more. Great. So he, so okay. I feel his story was like he was in foster homes. He was like abused in foster homes. He was living on the street. Mm. But also his um, uncle. Apparently, his uncle showed him um, pictures of what he did to women while he was in Vietnam. He was in the war. And he would basically kill, kill and torture women. Took pictures of that, brought them back, showed them to. So that that was like the first example of like this is how this is what you do, or like oh haha, God. this is funny when somebody you feel somebody is below you, and also at the same time like the atrocities like Americans were doing yeah. in Vietnam just for fun, which is extremely sick. Well, I would like to also I would like to bring it back to the point that if his uncle didn't do that, I would not be here. So. But you want no way that doesn't make any sense. It makes absolute sense. That d- that part doesn't <laughs> right. make sense. No, it makes well, because her- you have nothing to do with Richard Ramirez. You don't know anything about me. You she don't brought know. Her 23 and me, and we will go through it on the break. Hey, you know how people say imagine everyone in their underwear to make you more comfortable? As if imagining a room full of strangers down to their skivvies is what makes us comfy. <laughs> As if. MeUndies believes comfort does not start with imagining. It starts with actual comfort. That's why they make the softest undies and fun prints to help you feel comfortable at your core so you can feel ready to take on anything. No half-naked room of people necessary. I love my MeUndies. I have the cutest little pair with little animals on them. And then I have a pair with chicken nuggets on them. I even have matching socks. And I have these pajama pants that I can't even tell you. When I start flying again, these pajama pants are going to be the only on the plane sleep suit. MeUndies has limited edition prints like all the time so you can express yourself every single day. Building your undie collection and picking out which lucky pair gets to meet your butt for the day has never been so fun. Choose prints with corgis, chicken nuggets, your zodiac sign, goofy puns, more. MeUndies also releases collabs with some pretty big names like the Rolling Stones and Space Jam A New Legacy. But you have to grab them fast because once they're gone, they're gone for good. Cue the saddest violin. <laughs> MeUndies has a great offer for our listeners. For any first-time purchasers, you get 15% off and free shipping. MeUndies also has their problem-free philosophy. If you're not satisfied with the product for any reason, they'll refund and exchange it. No caveats, no questions. To get 15% off your first order, free shipping, and 100% satisfaction guarantee, go to MeUndies.com bald. That's MeUndies.com bald. It's summer again, and that means hot, sunny days, and nights are too hot to get any sleep. Enter Brooklinen. Crisp sheets that breathe to keep you cool means you can say goodbye to sweaty summer nights. I recently had some problems sleeping, and I was like, it's my bed. It's my mattress. It's my pajamas. It's the pillow. Sheets. Sheets changed everything. Have you ever said to yourself, I love the fact that I've had the same pair of sheets since just after college, and that's so fun about me. But I never liked them, and I just keep washing them every week and putting them back on the bed like it's totally fine. Stop it, Storm. Brooklinen can make that voice in your head and the bad sheets on your bed go away. You spend a third of your life sleeping or more. So you want to make your bed as comfortable as possible. 
but maybe you look at some retailers and you calculated the costs and the years of interest and you just pay. It's just, it's intimidating. Okay. Trust me, go check out Brooklinen. Brooklinen was started to create beautiful, high quality home essentials that don't cost an arm and a leg. And people, what a success. Brooklinen has something for your every comfort need. Ideas for a seasonal refresh because they're launching new products and colors and patterns all the time. I'm talking buttery, soft, breathable sheets, plush, absorbent towels, cozy robes, and comfy loungewear you'll want to put on and never take off. I love the Brooklinen sheets. They just, they, they made me like my bed. My bed is nice and beautiful, but the sheets changed everything. So give yourself a comfort refresh that you deserve and get it for less at Brooklinen. Go to brooklinen.com and use the promo code BALD to get $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen.com and enter promo code BALD for $20 off with a minimum purchase of $100. That's brooklinen, B-R-O-O-K-L-I-N-E-N.com. Brooklinen.com, promo code BALD. Here's my little brother, and it's the baby that has his head. His oh head. my God, what with, do you a think knife. About this? with a knife. <laughs> yeah. What do you think about, you pull it out of your... <laughs> Here's my baby brother. My oh, oh, I give birth. <laughs> you give birth. I have like the first. I have the first like working uterus <laughs> transplant. But only produces serial killers. Yeah, and yeah. like with like, crazy Stewie from Family Guy proportions. But very hot. All very hot. It's like a three D printer is in there. Yeah, <laughs> and they're like, no, you can. Oh. It's a, it's real. Well, I want to. I will say, like, I think. Uh, now that there's all this, I think there's a lot of romanticization, like of like the interest in true crime and stuff, and like especially like hot killers. But I think like what's interesting to me is the is like how do you reform? Because it's like no one is making those choices because they're like in a good place. It's like it's like their lives are so fucked up. It's yeah. like yeah. all these yeah. people who do this shit they're all fucked up and they all have like crazy trauma, like that uncle shit. Yeah. And it's like, they're just not at a place where they're like, it's like they had no chance in this way where it's like, oh, it's just made this person yeah. who's like completely un, un or like untethered Dis to, yeah. yeah, that has no concept Disconnected from like of, humanity, like what they're a part of, where they're like, I'm gonna prey on you. Yeah. Which is like crazy. But it's I mean, like, some people. But there's, I mean, there's gotta be people who are like have great parents and a great support system who still turn out awful. The same way you can grow up with a bad situation and grow up turn out fine. But I think it's like, I think it's, it's also too, an environment it's like, too. Yeah, and like I think there's that, and you know, people can debate the ethics of it. But there's that like HBO documentary from I think the '90s, the Child Child of Rage, about that girl, Ooh, the yeah. girl who was like. It's like this little girl and her brother, her baby brother. She, I think she's like, and again, don't quote me on it. It's all paraphrased because oh, I haven't watched it for years. No, no, <laughs> but it's about like, it, it's about this little girl who's like, I think it starts following her when she's like six or seven maybe. But these people adopt her and her infant brother. And I think she's like three at the time when they adopt her. But uh, the girl, basically you find out, she, she's doing all this horrible shit. She's like putting needles in the cat. She's trying to kill her baby brother. She's killing baby birds. And they're like, uh oh, like she, we don't, we don't know what's up with her. And then they take her to a therapist. And this is where it's kind of problematic because like they're, they say at that age, people can, you can like implant. If you like ask too many leading questions, like did someone hurt you? Then uh -huh. it can like kind of implant like a false memory, whatever. But, what they gathered is that like their her birth father was like molesting her as a baby and like abuse like when they found the baby brother his head was flat because he had been laying they were they were like not being fed they were pooping like they had they were had pooping it. they were pooping <laughs> on the ground and they weren't he what the father wasn't He'd affectionate with them before. at all so like sh the daughter had been had had a lack of affection for long enough and like a lack like that yeah, basically lack of care. well it's like basically she has like Lost she's in lizard brain mode yeah. she has yeah. no and conscience no yeah like and it's to, that sucks yeah and it's like the documentary is about them basically putting her in this really rigid therapy program where she like build they build a conscience for her and it's like they interview her and she's talking about like mom mom and dad have to rope the door shut at night because I'll I like I want to kill them with a knife in the dark. I want to oh, yeah. do it at night. But we only saw I feel like when that came out everyone was like see you can be born as a murderer like you can be born as a killer and that no, was like proof. No, I don't that's not what I think it's proof 
proving that like no when that came out before the documentary about it like just the clip of the girl like because they didn't know that she got molested before oh you think the documentary Wait, like newer like, that's newer information that it's in the docu in child of rage they talk about it but about a man entering like she draws pictures of like a man entering her room at night and they gather that the was he hot? father yeah, I don't know about the documentary, it was but Stanley I, Tucci. I remember the. <laughs> is it documentary new? No, it's from like it's like a HBO documentary from like the '90s. You can watch it on YouTube. It's like a half hour long. I think. Oh. Work. Uh, have you guys seen the documentary about the people obsessed with Tiffany? Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany I, Trump. It's called I, no, no, no. The, it's the called singer. no. It's called I think we're alone now, and it's a documentary. It's an hour on YouTube. It's like old. Somebody put it up there, but it's following like four people who are obsessed with Tiffany. Like I think we're alone now, the teenage eighties mall singing oh. girl, and it's like a grown adult people who like psychologically believe that they are best friends with Tiffany and like follow her. And oh, I hate this. this some is of like... them have like some of them have like restraining orders, and it's like sad because they're like she means so much to me, but it's like at a certain point, it starts to mean too much, and then it's like I hate that shit. I, it's fierce. I've only I'm only recently. Um, getting that from strangers, people who feel a connection. Mm. In a how do they let you know? In like a from fans. Yeah, yeah. Oh. but but in a, in that in that world pros those ways is very sad. To, it makes me sad. Yeah, because mm. I'm like I would like to connect with you genuinely, but you're scaring me. Yeah, uh, I mean th there was just one guy in the documentary who goes, "I'm sick and tired of being kicked out of Tiffany's life when I'm supposed to be in it." It's like so yeah. chilling. Yeah, I well, it's like it. the disconnect from yeah, any the reality of it. We were talking about like, like I think because, and I'm sure you deal with this too. The way that like our sense, our senses of humor, like in our in our comedy, are like are it's like hypersexual, very graphic. <laughs> so people that like follow <gasps> us will like come up to us and say really like. <gasps> Hypersexual stuff. I'm sure stuff. I don't know what you mean. I have no <laughs> idea way, what you're talking about. In a way that's like very, it's like boundary crossing when it's like a str where I haven't even, I don't even have the context that I know this person like likes my comedy. I've never people seen will just come life. up yeah. and they'll just like say something like really nasty, and I'm like, that's it's scary. It's like, oh no, like you're a stranger to me, and it's just like, oh, I have this, we have this closeness, and I think that's kind of what social media does is like makes people feel like they're just like a touch away from you and they're getting more yeah. of your yeah. personal life yeah. so yeah. they feel like they know you yeah. oh, better yeah. but it, it is very like scary it's also like boundaries better. have you ever heard of boundaries like these people some like, of these folks what? have not especially <laughs> yeah. when they when i was rushed in an airport shop and so it was cried at for like 10 minutes Cried at. That's people, hard. People cry at us all the time. Charged. I was char like charged at me. Why? Like laying stuff on you? Oh. Like it's therapy? Like, we have meet and greets like on tour. Say, it's like you're in their care. Yeah, I was or, like, or, I'm not a mental health professional. They're in your they're care. Like, care. Right. I am the crazy person. You back away. You know what I mean? Yeah, it's like, yeah. So strange. I'm like, I need to be taken care of. Yeah. I need guidance. People <laughs> cry from the excitement, which is something, but a lot of times for us, it's like cathartic where something with their trauma, yeah. they see in our trauma, and they connect it kind of without our permission. But also, and then in yeah. person, the floodgates just open. But if this, I'm, I'm talking like off duty, out of drag, not at a gig, no excitement. Oh, you know what I mean? Like, too, I'm yeah. like, this is like, I'm at a Burger King and mm. somebody taps you on the, and then, it, you know, and they're crying. They're crying. Yeah, it's crying. crazy. It's so fascinating to me. Well, I mean, it's, it's I, such a thin, it's like you are now like, you, you have to kind of like, I guess it's like a very thin line of if you, if you, actually communicated what you feel in that moment you risk being like shattering oh, sh them. i met them and they were fucking off right. well, even though i was like pushing my way into their car yeah. like trying to <laughs> get home. I, yes. I, I, she dragged me down the block for three miles what? Yeah, yeah yeah you know it's crazy i like, saw your uh, i saw in your instagram story that you were at the neiman marcus so i have i yeah. i drove yeah i jumped the median and yeah. drove down the highway oh, and crashed no. the, yeah, no. yeah. I, oh, yeah. I, I divorced okay. my husband just to come here. Can you say happy birthday to Sarah? Totally. Yeah. 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 It's, it's it's crazy I, because it's like, oh, this is what, this is also like, oh, you're, you, you think you're showing me love this way? Uh -huh. It's like, no, actually really think about it. It's like, please show me love and care as you would someone you actually love. And it's like, is this how you're treating people you love? Because that's 
not good. I know. If I saw Julia Roberts at like the Sparrows or whatever in the mall. God forbid. <laughs> Well, she works I, there. I would. Yeah, I mean, she's a chef. And she's yeah. having a hard time. She's, she's having yeah. a hard time. She's, she's not pulling her weight. To be fair. And she's listening to this. She's like, I actually like it when people come up to me because it makes me feel alive and like yeah. I want to live. She's like, I haven't been called that in years. Yeah. Did you say Julia Roberts? Yeah, I'm like, people call me a Tony here. Yeah, <laughs> the, 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 yeah the name takes oh, this. They're like Tony. Tony. <laughs> come on, get a pizza. She looks beautiful. She has an she has an accent to them. Yeah. Okay, I'm coming. I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> oh God. It's so hard she to be undercover. <laughs> it's just gorgeous one. Julia Roberts with a, go- a mustache and a Tony. You want to call a Tony. Big mistake. Huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. She's like she's like wrestling with the pizza, and then like uh, her pills fall out and her testosterone like needle, and she's like, and then the boss is like. <laughs> Needle, What's bitch. going on with you, and Tony? T- it's like a movie that <laughs> Sasha and Needle falls down prick first in the floor, like bang. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and like, and it what the injects fuck it into the floor, floor and, and then, then the, the floor's like, like, oh, I'm not <laughs> <laughs> Or better yet, they're fighting over it and it gets thrown and hits Brittany in the neck and just instant beard, full beard. Oh, oh. Brittany. Another employee. Oh. She's not the only person. Who works. We said free Brittany earlier and I didn't know if you Oh, were... maybe she escaped maybe she to the works at the Sabaro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay. <laughs> yeah. Well. I just joined in. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Listen, if Julia works there, Brittany could work there. Yeah. Right. It right, could happen. Right, right. But Who else works there? Uh, Neil Patrick Harris is the shift manager on the weekends. As Sheila. <laughs> Neil Patrick Harris as Sheila. <laughs> Julia Roberts as Tony. <laughs> Britney Spears as... M- M- Mauricio. Mauricio. <laughs> and Tony Danza. Tw- no, wait, what's his name? Um, and Tony Banderas. And Tony Danza. And Tony... And Te- Ted Danson and as the Ted delivery Danson driver. And Ted Danson in blackface like he did. <laughs> In that oh. photo that everyone can look up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. God. Have you looked up that photo? I th- I believe I have Danson. seen it. Ted Danson oh, come on. is like... Cheers. Uh, he was... Um, yeah, he was like Very the guy tall, in super white hair. You'd know if you saw him. He dated Whoopi Goldberg for he a spell. He dated Whoopi Goldberg. Yeah. And she said it was okay. And he did it in public. Uh, For right? her... Like, for her birthday? <laughs> Yeah. Imagine your boyfriend being in like yeah. blackface, being like, Happy birthday, Happy birthday honey. Yeah. I love you. See, look at that what, smile. What, what was it? The look 80s? Look at that, look at that smile. smile. It was the 80s. It was the 80s. Loves it. it was yeah. the 80s. That's what I'm saying. In the 80s, they're probably like, That is so, so funny. funny. You are killing yeah. it. Yeah. You should be on Saturday Night Live. You yeah. should be, you should do that in public. <laughs> you should win for office. <laughs> yeah. Well, I think that's it. That's oh, it. wait, wait. Um, can you, do you have anything to plug? I don't know about like, not, don't knock on table, but uh, with COVID stuff, but I'm starting to up my monthly show at Largo again. Oh. I tried to get into your shit show. I tried to buy tickets online. Well. Hello, hello I eat my own shit. It sold out. It no sold shit. Out. And like, well, it, which is nice, but yeah. it's a monthly show. And also, she said, "Sorry, flop. Yeah. Better luck next time." A flop? I tried to buy tickets. I saw, and I it was like call so depressed. Anybody a flop? Oh. Not, not even a, a dolphin <laughs> <laughs> or a shoe. <laughs> um, yeah, wait, wait. That's the it. show's called um, "Me." Well, it's. I think it's gonna change every oh, okay. month. Shit right now, person. it's me. I've been eating my own shit. <laughs> my say own it, shit. Say it louder. <laughs> yes. <laughs> me. I've, I've been eating my own shit. <laughs> But can you say it with like you know because you chose the name like strength and I mean you put the name give on, us you, like you the radio on the fly. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You know, you know. you're gonna sell it. Wait, wait, can I be the radio station? Mm-hmm. And that was baby, you got back. Now a quick announcement from Patty Harrison about her one woman show show thingy. Hey gamers, do you like shemale comedy? Then turn out. It's. <laughs> It's July 28th at 8 p.m. at the Largo at the Cornet. I <laughs> and what is me, it called? What's it called? What's it called? Hey, fagot, listen up. It's called <laughs> Me, I've Been Eating My Own Shit. <laughs> A new monthly show that won't be called that every time. And now back I would love to, to be call it Hey, fagot. <laughs> Maybe that's the next one. It's Italian for friend. <laughs> and now back to regular programming. Okay. I was... I was 
fingering myself at the end of at the end of the road, and that's when I saw my love. And that was finger myself at <laughs> the end of the road by Fergie. <laughs> It's just Fergie. that. It's Fergie. Oh, Fergie God. lost her voice. Mm-hmm. I'm Fergie. <laughs> I am Fergie. <laughs> That's the most. I didn't know you could do her. Yeah. I am Fergie. Don't forget the power I have. <laughs> <laughs> do you have anything you want to plug? Um. We and also sell where can people here. find yeah, things. Yeah, I have um I have a show um that I'm doing I'm going to be doing at the Little Island Festival August fifteenth and that I'll be performing around New York and um it's it's um just like a one person show. So keep your eyes out for that on my Insta and Twitters at Pile of Tears. Um, other than that, I'm just kind of trying to rest. Nice. Nice. Good. Catch them resting. <laughs> <laughs> and we're go- oh, we didn't, hey, we didn't even get to talk about your getting um, booted off of Twitter for. Um, oh, we don't need it's to. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's, Wait, it's, why? Did, why? I just. I made it. She I, weaponized I, cook the cookie. Um, what did you, What did you do? I, I, I did that thing where you change your your name to like a real company, but because I'm verified, it looks real. Yeah, and then I said like a bunch of like biphobic and transphobic stuff, and it was biphobic. Yeah, and uh, and then I got kicked off. But that's like it's it's fine. I think I wanted to get kicked off. I was like yeah. done on Twitter, so I yeah, was like, yeah, I tried this to is... tag you, and I was like, if you're you gone. To, if you wanted to get away yeah. with it, you would have done it on Facebook. Yeah. Uh-huh. If, you, if you wanted to get away with biphobic and transphobic f- yeah. slurs, nobody you could cares just do it on Facebook. Facebook. Well, it's like your password has to be like "by erasure is not real." <laughs> Fierce. And I agree. <laughs> and I agree. <laughs> and why? That's my. You know who's by Barney? Oh, <gasps> I see it. Do you? Did you notice? The yeah. Do, um, wait. The the purple dinosaur. Purple dinosaur. I remember. Oh my god, this is like a. Film. Don't you remember him coming out being like, "I'm by." Like that was the first thing he said to the kids. I'm they, by. Yeah. If anyone wants to hook up later, <laughs> yeah. And then the show began. No. <laughs> but and then the girl's Barney, like, Barney. "I will." It's like you still have to be hot, grosso. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> like not and, you. And also, it's not like a pedophilia thing because Barney's like nine years old. Right, right. Bar- Barney's a kid, just yeah. like a bi kid who's like strong in his. Just a huge young dinosaur. Yeah, I remember huge. being a kid and like remember that remember the I remember people's parents would be like Barney's gay that's why he's purple. Remember purple Tiki right, Winky yeah. was gay because purple. Why is purple gay? But then all the parents loved Prince. I don't get that. T. Uh, all the parents are like oh my god Prince like dads moms but then they're like ew purple's gay. Well, and it's like you see any pictures of your parents before it's like you all looked gay. You all had crop tops. Well, people who are that who are like dumb enough to say something like that also aren't smart enough to like see the the how things are like at odds like people mm-hmm. loving like queen and elton john and mm-hmm. all that shit and yeah totally and just being like homophobic it's like all the like the homophobic kids at my school were like blasting crocodile <laughs> maybe not crocodile earlier rock, today at your school uh, earlier today at my, <laughs> at my technical school yeah i'm going to um i'm actually You're going to vocational school for elton underwater john. welding <laughs> yeah <laughs> They're the like, fuck you, fag. It's too hot, super loud. Yeah, yeah. And I'm like, first thing I ever saw. <laughs> right after. <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> Giving it and they, all. They're like, fuck you, faggot. And then they turn and they have uh, threading bruises. On their <laughs> 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 <And> fuck you. <laughs> threading bruises. You're a faggot. They went for chromatic <laughs> they're like, like, filler. Their fillers like drifting downward. You see yeah. it? And they're like, they have this like, lump. <laughs> Oh, their fillers dripping down. All right. Well, on hey, that note. That, uh, oh, bye. Bye. <laughs> Erasure a, is yeah. not real. <laughs> yeah. <laughs>